Hey, so this practice is all about having fun. Three of my teachers are joining me, uh, or us. We're going to have some fun with um, arm balance, lotus, lots of twists <laughs> and binds, shoulder opening. I hope you have fun too. Okay, let's uh, come to the mat. <clears throat> Close your eyes if you like. For just a moment, breathe in. Down all the way to the soles of your feet. Let's have fun. Stretch up. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, lift. And exhale, right for back. We always do, lift your chest, good, left foot back, stay here, for those of you who want to build up some strength, <laughs> you can come forward a little bit, yes, yes, that's it, chest forward, legs tight, breathe, okay, knees, chest and chin, and, and push back, Adho Mukha Shunasana. Lengthen the spine, relax your neck. Teju, you can bring your heels out a little bit. Yeah. Right foot forward, lift the chest, left foot forward, exhale. Lift up and stretch up. We're going to go a little bit quicker through the warm up. Exhale, come forward, interlace your fingers. Since this is not a two-hour class, hands down, lift up, left foot back, breathe, chest forward. This looks odd, bring your foot forward more. Right foot back, stay in plank, warm up your shoulders. And we can go down, elbow, left elbow. Right hand, left hand. Try not to wiggle your hips too much. One more. And back, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, stay. And push back. Okay, elbows turning a little bit more towards the floor, I mean. Relax your shoulders. Left foot forward. Try and straighten the leg, the right leg. Very nice. Stretch. Exhale. Let's just grab the elbows. Sit down, <coughs> squat a little bit, and then stretch your elbows down towards your heels. If you need to keep your knees bent, that's fine. Otherwise, tighten the thigh. More weight into your toes. Relax your shoulders. James, inhale, come up slowly, stretch up. If you like, back bend a little bit and come forward again. Interlace your fingers. The other thumb is forward. Hands down, lift the chest, now jump or step, lower, lift, okay. push back, Adhamukhasvanasana, right leg up, open up to the side, knee up to the ceiling, and slowly touch your forehead to the knee or the knee to the forehead, <laughs> lift up, stretch, inhale, Exhale, one more time. Come forward, shift the weight to your hands, lift up. You can bring up the foot a little bit higher. Knee to the right triceps. Lift up, and to the left. Good, 
Berlin. Stay. <laughs> Live. That's okay. You're allowed to love. Push down. Lift up the leg. Keep breathing. Come onto your elbows. And stay. No stress. Just lift the leg. Good. Come for it onto the ball of the foot. And bend your left knee. Keep the right leg up. Touch the tip. Mm -hmm. And lift. And pop your sacrum. <laughs> Push back. Good. Okay. Jump or sit. Lift. Exhale. Lift up. Stretch. Go back if you like or straighten. I don't mind which way. And one more time. Come forward into lace your fingers. Stretch down. Shoulders away. Belly to your thighs. Hands down. Lift. Jump a step. Lower. Good. Push back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left leg up. We have the other fun on the other side. Knee to the forehead. Lift. Stretch. Good. One more time. To your forehead. Come forward with the weight. Keep the foot up. Lift up. One more time. Lift back and come to the triceps on the left side. Keep it up, 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 up. <laughs> Are you me sleeping? Go to the other elbow now, to the right elbow. Yeah, that's it. Stay. <laughs> Lift. Stretch. Oh, we didn't open up, so we can open up now. Kneecap to the ceiling. Good. Straighten the leg and lower your elbows. You know it's hard. If it's hard for you, interlace your fingers, okay? Are you me? You can go like this. Okay. Nice. Okay, keep lifting the leg, keep stretching the right hamstring, and slowly lower down your right knee, keeping the left leg up. Come forward, elbows close. And just up. Push back. That's a good sound. Keep breathing. Very nice. Slowly jump or step forward. Lift. Exhale. Come up. Stretch up. Good. And sit low. <coughs> One more time. Stretch. Exhale, twist. Pull the body in. Spine away from your pelvis. Change in here, come up. And exhale, stay seated. Low, sit down low. Your knees should be in one line. Bring the knees in one line. Yep, better. Look up past your left shoulder and breathe. A little bit compromised breathing. Stretch up. When we twist, exhale, come down. <clears throat> Good. Lift your chest. Jump a step. Ready? Go. Lift. And push back. All right. Grab your left hand to your left ankle. And lift your right leg. Lift up. As much as you can. If that's just five centimeters, fine. Don't cramp up your neck on the right side. Just try and create a counteraction between your hand and your leg. It's fine if you fall out, don't worry. Just lift up as much as you can. Breathe. Relax your left shoulder. Just the hand is tight. Slowly lower down again. Go ahead. Come forward. Knees, chest, and chin. Okay. You can stay here or go into extended child. 
with the arms forward. Otherwise, hands are underneath your shoulders. Keep breathing. Active inner thighs. Left the sitting bones. Yeah. Hands underneath. Come forward. Very good. Push back. Okay, right hand. Grab the right anchor. Slowly lift your left foot. As much as you feel is good, and then a little bit more. So, tiny challenge. Push into the ground. Just breathe. <laughs> it's fine, even I fall out. You know? It's all good. Keep breathing, lift up more. Relax the right shoulder. And slowly lower down. Hands down. Come forward, knees, chest and chin. One more time. You can stay here or bring your arms forward. Inner thighs active. Chain. <clears throat> Hands underneath your shoulders. Push down. And back. Lengthen your spine. Right leg up, open up, knee cap up. Exhale, one more time. Touch your forehead. This time, come to the outside of your left hand with the right foot. <laughs> A little bit higher, so forward more. Yes. <clears throat> Good. And then stretch your left arm up. Pull and try and go. Lock the knees, breathe, and if you feel comfortable, you can overstretch. Hips up, both feet on the ground. <laughs> Change left hand down. You can stay here or right arm up, belly in. Right shoulder away from your ear. Lock the right knee. This time it's not both feet on the ground, just the outer part and the ball of the foot. Bring your right hand back. Good, let's lower down for one, two, three. Very nice, okay, lift up, right leg up. Palm for it, and down. Chaturanga. Very nice. Push back. Good job, Ayumi. I know it's hard for you. You're doing well. Left leg up. Open up. Knee cap up to the ceiling. Belly in. Touch your forehead to your knee. And lift up one more time. And second time, you touch and you bring your left foot to the outside of the right hand. Both legs are straight. Come on forward. Belly to your spine, right them up. Breathe, stretch up. Hips up more. That's it. And if you feel comfortable, overstretch and bring your hips up even more. Both feet should be flat. Right hand down. Good. Stay here or Open up, left arm, breathe. <laughs> it's okay, you can keep your both hands down. It's fine, no worries. Yeah, stay like this. Left hand down, good. Exhale, low down, one. Pull up, two. And three. Lift the left leg up and over. And just straighten it again, come forward. Tiny preparation for a chin stand. And push back. Very nice. 
Okay, who knows if we're going to do it or not. <laughs> Breathe into your shoulders, relax your neck. Jump or step. Lift your chest. Exhale. We do another forward bend. This time you can choose whichever you like. You can grab your heels or you can grab hands underneath your feet. You can grab your big toes. Choose whatever is good for you. Whichever way you choose, the weight should be in your toes. Lift the chest and exhale. Come down forward. Even more weight to, to, to the front, yes. Nice. Elbows out more. Yeah. Lengthen the spine. Keep breathing. Touch your stomach to your thighs. Relax your shoulders. <laughs> Good. Okay, hands down. Lift the chest, push, we're not going up, back, one more time, lower, and push back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let's walk the feet, hands to the feet, and roll up slowly. Okay, just one tiny God salutation, <laughs> a tiny one. Come forward, right foot step. Cross your leg, um, thumbs, not legs. Lock the left knee. Come up all the way on the left ball of the foot. Stretch up. And back. Schön. Yeah. Turn around. Right hip forward, come up all the way on the ball of the right foot, the right heel up, stretch up, crossing the other thumb if you like, and go stretch back. Change, very nice. Good job. Right knee close to your left here. Yeah, stretch up, exhale, down, belly in. Push your forehead against your thigh if you can. Inhale, come up. Stretch. And go back. The right foot should be flat. Try and touch the floor. You're doing good. Yeah. Just keep it solid. Just gotta breathe when you're in the back bend. Yes. I'm straight. Change up. Turn around. Okay, I told you it's a tiny one. That's the last one already. Stretch up. Okay, left foot is solid. Push into the ground. Right foot anyway should be solid. Arm straight. Good. Inhale. Come up. Stretch. And go back. Use your breath. Lift up the chest. And with the exhale, you go back. That's it. Careful. Careful. Good. Okay. Change. Feet together. Uh, let's just open up. <clears throat> Warrior two. Sit. Lean back. Mm -hmm. Spine straight. Breathe. Warrior one, because we didn't do it. <laughs> Arms straight. Left leg straight if you can. Not so easy. And then come forward with your arms and bring the right hand down for Abdachandrasana. Left arm up. Yeah, you open up the hip. You can bring your hand onto your hip or lift up. Find one spot on the wall or if you dare, on the ceiling. Good. 
And then step back. Stay low. Bring the right hand down from the inside of the right foot. Left arm is up. And then cross your left arm back. If you like, bind. If you cannot bind here, it's fine. Just to stretch up. If you can bind and grab something other than your pants, if you can grab your fingers, rather straighten the left arm. And if you like, if you would like to go further, if your hamstring is not hurting, you can lock your right leg, go into a bound triangle, back of the head towards your shin. No pressure. <laughs> right hand down. Good. Left arm up. And just uh, bring the left hand down. We can just uh, be here on the other side. Right up. Right leg up. Lower. And push back. Nice. Okay. Now you, you guys step left foot forward. I'm going to step right foot forward, but I'm turning to the left side. <laughs> or yet to On the other side, please. Stretch your chest. Mm -hmm. Watch your knee. So it's not turning in. Good job. Spine straight. Breathe. Right leg straight, stretch up, sit low, breathe. Okay, stay low, come forward, and bring the left hand up. Right hand to the hip or up to the ceiling. Lock both knees. If you can, look up, right shoulder back. Open your hip. Mm -hmm. And then you can step back and stay low. Bring in the left hand to the inside of your left foot. Right arm up. Stay here or if you want to go further, grab your right hand behind. Try and grab your Right wrist or right fingertips with your left hand. If you can, straighten your right arm. Look up and twist. Again, breathing is compromised in twists, so shallow breath. Good. If you feel like you can do this on this side, maybe, just straighten the leg. Nice. So the back of the head, Ayumi, goes to the shin. Left hand down. Breathe. Okay. Come back up. And let's bring the feet in a little bit. Doing horse dance. So whichever way you want to stand. Yeah. Turn your toes out. Sit low. If you like. Oh. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> you can use your arms straight against your thigh. You can pop your hip a million times. Lift the heels if you are more secure. Stretch your arms out and breathe. Let's keep it at least 30 seconds. I can see you <laughs> in the mirror. So <laughs> lean back, sit low, breathe. You can do this. It's just 20 more seconds. 15, breathe. Uh, let's do left arm on the right, pull down. Stay up. No crying. Yes, arms out, right under left. We did this like two minutes long in lockdown. <laughs> Pull down. Good, we're done. Straighten your arms, heels down, straighten your legs. Okay, turn your toes forward. Hands on the hips and lean back. Just to relax. You okay? Yeah? <laughs> Good. I don't want. Japanese sushi, you know? 
You're good? Okay, very nice. Okay. Let's go to Strutter from here. So he's out. Stretch out your arms. Breathe. Exhale. Whenever you come forward, more into your toes. The lengthening of the spine is crucial to any forward or back bending. And then if you like, you know, you can grab your heels or walk your hands through, whichever is better for you. Shoulders away from your ears. So Ayumi, we're going to do tripod. You can do headstand or stay in straddle, okay? Yeah. So push your hands against the ground if you like. If you have the practice, come up. Your elbows should be like parallel with the shoulders and 90 degree angle to the ground. You scared, Teju? Yeah. <laughs> mm, because of the heater or just because? No, no, just, like just like this? You can come with the knees on top of your triceps, mm -hmm. like we do sometimes. Like crow only in, with the head down. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thomas, we can do maybe eagle leg. So you can, yeah, beautiful, very good. And just stay and breathe. Relax your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Change the leg, Thomas. And slowly straighten up and out again. <laughs> okay, good, very nice. Bring your forehead down, relax for a second. And walk your hands forward whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, slightly drippy. Jump back into Malasana. Push your hands, elbows out against your knees, knees to your elbows. Lift up the chest. We go through tiny prep for guillotine. So we do Bird of Paradise and then we do guillotine. So Ayumi can show off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So left arm uh, between the left calf and thigh, and you can bind. If you cannot bind here, you just stay like this, right arm up. If you can bind, look up, twist your right shoulder open, then stand up, leg straight, look up. If this is comfortable, weight in the right foot, belly in, chest up, mach langsam, lift the chest. That's it. Got it. Left leg up. Breathe. Lock the knees. Change. Very nice. Look up again. Reverse the same way. Left hand down. Right arm up. Relax the right arm. And come down. Push your elbows out. Knees in. Right arm, right hand on the floor, and left arm up. If you want to go further, bind. Straighten your left arm if you can. Look past your left shoulder. If you can, stand up, stand up, straighten your legs, and twist. If this is fear, feeling still comfortably, you can get up. Weight on the left foot, <laughs> lift the chest. There's no pressure to do any of the postures. Breathe. Concentrate one spot. Okay, slowly lower down. You did good. Okay, right hand down. Left hand up. And again, elbows and knees. Counteraction. 
Good. Okay. Let's see how we all suck and Ayumi is going to win it. <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> we will see, right? Okay. So bring your hand, left hand on the calf muscle and pushing the left shoulder through. Yes, we're all joining. And then bring your right hand on the right calf muscle and push the right shoulder through. If you can do this, wonderful. Then bring your arms up. You can squat down a little bit to grab your fingers. Oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> and just look up your butt. Straighten the legs, more weight into your toes. Relax your lower back. Essential for this pose. Not bad, Teju. Okay, good. Relax. Very nice. Now we're going to do an arm balance that is very close to the setup of guillotine. But we rest for a second. <laughs> Let's rest for a second. <laughs> Breathe. Relax the neck. Good, okay. So we do crane. It's a little harder. But it's fun. Okay, since we already prepared it, why don't we do it? Walk your hands back as far as you can. So it's the same kind of setup. You want to push your shoulders through and then bring the hands back down instead of up. You want to sit on your elbow. Uh, you can do this with the fingers forward and hands flat. Or you can bring it on your fingertips or whatever I'm doing. Sit on the elbow. Lift one foot and the other foot if you're in insecure, otherwise both legs straight. Lift the butt, otherwise it won't work. And try and straighten your arms while you're squeezing your, yeah, that's really good. While you're squeezing your <laughs> thighs, good job. Very nice to do. Keep the butt up. Okay. So lift the butt up more and then straighten one leg. Eventually the other. It's a hard one, I know. For you especially, the low back. Okay. Change. Relax. It's fine. Good. Yeah, you want to do it again? We can even, you can do Buddha Padasana from here, if you like. Just bring your feet together. You know? Just cross. And lift the chest. Uh-huh. And then, I don't know, I don't usually do this a lot. You can get out, just somehow. Okay. Beautiful. Let's do crow. <clears throat> so I was thinking of crow, side crow. Mm -hmm. First crow. Or we just go right away to side crow, why not? Let's do that. Bring your knees to the right. Mm -hmm. So your elbows go, either it's just the right elbow and the left elbow stays free, or both elbows go in where your thigh is. That is the easy version for Ayumi and people who are not so strong. You bring your elbows in on the thigh, and you just lower your head and try and balance here. Maybe you can lift your feet eventually, okay? If you are used to this posture a little bit, Keep the butt up, you lift up, and straighten one leg and the other back. So usually I like to try and either, nice, either uh, straighten them at the same time, or straighten first the one on the arm and then the one on the back. That looks good? Very nice. Okay, let's try and <coughs> switch the leg to the other Ekapada Kundinyasana. So, lifting the butt, straighten, right? And then come forward with the right knee, switch <laughs> onto the other arm. You're not doing anything. Come on. <clears throat> so, essentially, the right knee, after you straighten, yeah then the right knee will have to come more forward than the other leg. Yeah. Yes. Push and straighten. 
Very good. We can even go to shin stand from here. Good. You almost touch a different posture, but uh, we can do that too. <laughs> okay, straighten your spine for a moment. Lengthen. Let's just do the other side first. Okay, so hop closer. Bring your hands in front of you. Mm -hmm. So the knees are to the left. Either you have both elbows down or butt stays up. Straighten the leg if you are in the unbalanced position. If your head is down, don't worry about it. And try and switch the legs here too. You need to really grab the floor. Okay. Good. You want to switch? Yeah? Or what more? No, no, it was good. You just need to lift the leg more forward. You want to try again? Bring it forward. <laughs> yeah, you were close. Don't worry. It's just the last 10%, you know, the hardest. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, we can combine it with <coughs> chin stand. Only if you have the practice. But we can a uh, little bit prep chin stand so you guys have something to do. So you bring your right leg up, come forward. You can stay here, or you can come down with the chin, the straight leg, stay here, or you come up eventually. That would be chin stand. Very good. Yeah, that's already good. You can do it like that. Change the same for you. And we just do one more time, chin stand on the left side. Thomas, and then we switch the legs, okay? So left leg up, and you guys stay wherever you are. Come forward, or lower down, or lift up, and then just, uh, I don't know which way, right leg in, <laughs> lift, you don't want to, <laughs> okay, no problem. Good. Okay, roll your wrists for a moment. It was intense for the wrist. Yeah. Okie dokie. <sighs> you can do some hip opening. Relax. Good. Okay, let's do headstand just for now. It feels like it's headstand time. <laughs> I can come forward, I'm back, yes, like this, okay. Bring your head down, grab your elbows, interlace your fingers. And just come up, both legs together, please. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Breathe, just come. Relaxed. Jeju, mm -hmm. can you get your legs a little bit more to, towards me? Just stop like this, yeah. And just try and relax your shoulder, yeah. Relax your mind. Maybe you do like a tree, upside down tree pose, if you want to. One leg in, one leg straight. If you did do that, you wanna switch the other leg. Straighten the leg and slowly come down. 
Come down with your knees. Straighten your arms. Relax your neck. And walk your hands towards your feet. And slowly come up. Just please slow, slow. You just went down all the way. Okay, I'll just turn with you. <clears throat> Bring the right foot up to the inner thigh. Stretch up. Okay, create some pressure with the inner thigh against the foot. If you can, look up. It's raining outside. Raining inside too. Stretch to the side if you like. Breathe, concentrate. One spot. Slowly come back. Good. Okay, from here, we're going to get the foot up into different tree position. And we're just going to lay down, okay? So, gently come forward and lie down on your leg. The knee is in the back. It's not like pigeon. Knee is in the back. The foot is in the front. And the sole of the foot will be going to the floor. Just like that. Leg is straight. Relax your arms wherever you like. Breathe into your right hip. Find relaxation. Push your hands against the floor if you want to intensify just a tiny bit, and maybe on the elbows. Chest forward. Nice. Good. Okay. And then come back. So both knees should be in one line. Pushing your hips forward. Easy variation of what the asana left arm underneath your right. Mm -hmm. Can you push your hips more forward? Pull down, lift the chest. Good. Bring your hands down. Come up. Now we're going to try. I don't even know if I can do it. <laughs> We'll try anyway, okay? So there's a different variation from what they are now. So um, you, you stay on the foot and you're just gonna come down with the knee next to the left heel. Oh, that's the Iyengar variation. Oh my God, it's very tough. For me, at least. <laughs> Probably looks like shit, too. <laughs> and then just do the same thing with the arm again. Left and the right. Or, more <sighs> ghost tradition, you can bring the heel in front of the calf muscle. And then it's short man. The other thing, Vatayanasana means horse face. So, you have the option of all the animals and things. <laughs> if you fall, fall backwards. <laughs> You're chilling, that's good. I like it. It's, it looks much more comfortable than what I did. <laughs> Let's try one more time. You can do this. Yeah, there we go. No, come on, push your hips forward. You did great. You don't have to repeat what I'm doing. So if you're doing short man, it would be just hands in front, not eager. I can't hold it. Not on the right side, however. Slowly come back up. Oh, good. 
relax the knee. So I've got a knee, both directions. Unless your hips are anyway relaxed. <laughs> okay, if the knee hurts, lock it a few times. Good, other side, what do we do? Ah, three, arms up, stretch up, stay. Breathe. Inner thigh active, the right one. Come to the side. With the left back of the hand sliding across your knee and over. It's all possible. And then come up into Tadasan. Yeah. So much better. <laughs> okay. Come forward. Again, we keep the knee in the back and the foot forward. We go onto this hole of the foot. And relax. Doesn't have to go back like this one. Yeah, it's fine. Is that your favorite part? Yeah, I know. It's the best one. Isn't it? Next time we just do this one. One hour. Half an hour left. <laughs> Half an hour right. A little bit hands in. It's very relaxing for the left hip joint right now. Try and keep the right leg straight. And try to relax. Come on to your elbows if you feel like you want to intensify. Lift the chest, like in cobra. We pull back. Yes. And come back. Easy Vatayanasana. That one we can do. So half camera in the right, half lotus on the left. Right arm on your left, cross, pull, lift. Push the hips. A little bit more. Yeah. Much better, you mean this one. Good. Okay. What did we do? The crazy one, right? Push back. Mm. So, <laughs> hop a little forward with the left, uh, with the right foot, sorry, and then just bring the knee next to the left, right here. Oh, you have the knee knee problem, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to just lay down again, like you did? Really mean this one. I don't like it. <laughs> we should do it more often. Okay. Or Vishnu Ghosh variation. Short man. Oh. Heel against the inner calf. Hip move forward. At least this one I know better. Even I fall out. Feels less uncomfortable. <laughs> it's okay. It's normal to fall out. Don't worry about it. We don't practice it enough. Push the hips, breathe, you can do it, stay, <laughs> <laughs> or not, good, okay, nice try, slowly come back up, oh. crucial hips, okay, come down, nice, relax the knees, Ah, you can circle it again. And the other way around. <sighs> okay. Good. Sit down. So, we do life, life pose. 
Yeah. One more time, bend the right knee. Oh, that's tough for you. Maybe this one is good. Going okay, right? So, opposite from my leg. <laughs> We're like, everybody look at Teju and Thomas, please. <laughs> and then the left knee goes up. So you just fold it in, like in Marichasana. But now you bring the armpit on top of the knee and the, f the hand underneath the foot. So ideally, this is compre compressing the lymph nodes. So the heel and the abdomen <sighs> and the knee and the armpit working on your lymphatic system. Bring your right hand onto your right knee <laughs> and try not to cry. <laughs> Breathe. Lengthen the spine. Ideally, yes, both hips should be on the floor. If that happens for you, wonderful. If it doesn't, you're not alone. At least me. Since we're already here, we could just do the Marichasana, could we? Should we die? No, we can do the B, the easy one. Arm in front, cross the shin, grab it, lift, and come forward. Spine straight. Relax your neck, if you can. Push the left foot against the floor. And then <laughs> bring the left knee up, the left foot. So you're just going underneath, okay? Yeah, same, same. Otherwise, you can do the same thing, only the foot is underneath. Everybody else, you try to bring the heel up in the abdomen. Fold the right leg up. So ideally, you cut a little bit with your leg. then it's easier, right? <laughs> Doesn't feel so much easier. I'm fit onto your knee. I'm questioning myself. <laughs> Bring the foot on top of your hand. You can do this. Push down. Left hand on the left leg. Don't push too hard, okay? Be careful. So this is just, it should sink to the floor, the left knee. It should not be pushed because then you... You can always, you know, upset your knee. Breathe, relax your neck. Lower your lower back. Change. And just because we're already here, bring the right arm in front of your shin. Oh. The lower you get with your arm in front, the easier it is to get forward. Look at you. That's really good. Both of you. <laughs> and then, no, Thomas too. I was just looking at the girls first. Okay, stretch forward. But you're always good in hip opening. So, I had to, you know, compliment every time. So let me come up. Very good. Okay. I think we can do lotus. Right? right? Relax your left leg. Go like this. You good? Okay, very nice. So you just do half lotus. If you cannot do lotus, you do half lotus. Mm, take the leg, whichever you like. I'm going to start with right. We're going to do both sides. Oh, I think it's important to do both sides. So first, the foot should be in front of the leg, just touching the shin. Lean forward. And stay like this. Breathe. Relax your lower back. Now, 
if lotus is a problem for you or you haven't done it for a while, you can stay here, try and push the head or your elbow down to the floor and just pull up the leg. That's going to be the easiest way to access lotus after the hip openers. And then you come back up. Good. Lengthen the spine, chest up. <laughs> I told you one million times. It can pop. Breathe. Nothing bad happening. Okay, let's do lifting. That's actually good for the... Look at you. Nice. Uh, good for the knee when you're lifting the lotus. If you can, bring the toes behind your arms. You can do it, Thomas. I don't know about us. Yeah, but we can try. I'm going to try with you. <laughs> Grab the floor and flex the feet around your arms. Like we do finger stand. Okay. And relax. Twist. Oh. Other side. Did it feel good in the knee when you were lifting? No? For me, it relaxes the knee when I do the lift. So for me, it's, no, it's probably because I have a hip problem, you have a knee problem. Relax your knees <laughs> to the other side, so quickly, I'm going to go do the left side first. <laughs> ah. Yeah, left foot first, exactly. Now you just do have, or you do the same again. You can yeah. do it. If you, yeah, if you like, you can just do the same side again. A lot of traditions practice only one side lotus. I think um, we can always improve on both sides. Good. Stay here for a moment. Mm. Thomas, we should do something else. So you guys sit, and we, we can, no, we can all go into a spider. Oh. Only we take a step between, we do peacock. You girls go into spider, just come forward. We can do peacock lotus, just because it's fun. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? This, this looks really tired. It is. <laughs> what happened to your hip? You were just now doing it before in the half, right? You're doing something wrong. Come forward more. Come forward more. Open up your lotus. Just open it up a little. Relax the feet. Okay. Um, we will look at it tomorrow. <laughs> Relax your hip. You should also do this. Elbows up. Oh, this one is hard. Too much handstand. Oh. <laughs> we should call it torture class. 60 minutes torture. Slowly come back up. Let's do mountains since we're already here. It's just, uh, you know, one step away. Don't fall. I'm going to fall. It doesn't matter. Just try not to fall. Keep stretching. One arm up, and the other one will follow. <laughs> so somewhere in between flexing your feet against your thighs and pushing the hip really strongly forward, there's a balance. You have to find it. Almost. Okay. Relax your legs. Good. 
Good. Okay, Pashu with the Nasana. Stretch. Ah, oh, forward. <laughs> Finish off with just a tiny bit of twisting one more time because we did already so nicely warm the twisting up. So <clears throat> bring the right leg up on top of your right shoulder. Oh, we didn't do the skandasana though. Okay, doesn't matter. Bring it up, push back, right hand back behind you. Grab from the outside, your thumb is down, little fingers up, stretch up. Push against the ground with the right hand. Wow, this hand looks really good. Try and straighten the leg and bring the back of the head onto your shin. Heel up. And then stay like this. Keep the right leg on your shoulder into lift. If you want to stay here, try and get the shin parallel. Otherwise, crossing your legs. Do Ashtavakrasana. Elbows bend while your legs straighten. And then very nice. And then go back into Ikapara. And chin set if you like. <laughs> Done. Okay, that was fun. One more time. Other side. Hmm. Left foot, left leg on top of your left shoulder. Grab from the outside. Pinky finger towards your pinky toe. Push the left elbow back. Put the left hand on the ground. Lift your leg up, straighten it, stretch up. Try and relax your lower back while you relax your head back. Good. And then keep it on the shoulder. Straighten the right leg if you can. Cross. Bend both elbows, straighten the legs. Or, if you can, <laughs> come back and do Ikapara. And relax. Okay. Have a little chai pose. <laughs> And roll your wrists if you did any inversion. Okay, squeeze your knees right quick, elbow against your thigh. Twist. Easy twist. Right elbow against the left side. Release. Twist to the other side. <coughs> okay. Only finishing up. Legs up over your head. Halasana. <laughs> Relax the shoulders. I'm straight. So we get your shoulders close together. Belly in. Back of the head is touching. Pushing. Neck is relaxed. Stretch your legs up. Up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. You may take your hands for support or keep your arms straight. If 
you wish to go into Lotus from here one more time, you can do so. Otherwise, just let go. If you are in Lotus, straighten your hips, stretch the knees away. Your belly should be active. Then fold at the hip and bring your arms straight against your thighs. This you can do this also cross leg, cross anchor. You don't have to be in lotus. You can just cross your anchor. Arms are straight. Push the shoulders down and relax your neck. Hands in the back, straighten at the hip, bring the right hand underneath your sacrum, turn to the right. You can do that with uh, straight legs too, you don't have to be in lotus. So, but with straight legs, be careful, the last 10% are really hard. <laughs> you just do it. <laughs> Look at me. So, if you do it with straight legs, it's like this. Uh, you may be careful with your neck. <laughs> you guys all over the place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Other side. Left hand like a plate underneath your sacrum. And then open up to the left. Relax your neck. What are you doing? <laughs> That's interesting. You can also do that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Why not? Do your creative version of it. <laughs> Straighten your legs. Mm -hmm. And all the way over your head. Alas, no. Heads away from your head. Why not? Have some personal expression. <laughs> Okay, Karna Padasana, bring your knees in. Try and squeeze your head on the knees. Slowly, straighten your legs and roll back. Bada ba 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 Relax. Let your body let go of the tension. We often forget to have fun in our everyday life. Maybe this can regenerate a little bit of fun. Thank you for coming to practice. <laughs>